Hi, uh, my name is Madina. I'm a multidisciplinary uh, visual artist and graphic designer originally from Ukraine. And for the past two years, I've been living and working in Belgium. Um, currently, I'm working with AI and new media tools. Um, and my research is focusing on exploring the progressively blurring boundary between humans, machines, um, individuality and replication. At this year's Guangzhou Biennale, I have pleasure of presenting my work that's titled Does AI Dream of Gender? Um, this is an interactive audiovisual installation that I've created using image-to-image -image translation algorithms. Um, and this work is heavily inspired by post and transhumanism theory as proposed by Donna Haraway, as well as Lacanian notion of uh, mirror stage. Um, this work is essentially an exploration of performative nature of gender in the digital space. Um, the premises of the installation is quite simple. Uh, there are two so-called mirrors, or literally two screens, and each one is taking the input from the camera, which is trying to detect viewer's face, and then it takes this input and runs it through pre-trained algorithm, um, and then one screen is changing the input to more female-looking face, and another one is changing it to more male-looking face. So, with this work, first of all, I'm trying to make the viewer contemplate the mirroring quality of the technology that we are using on a daily basis, and how the digital realm basically becomes the mirror and the reflection of society itself. And second of all, I'm curious how is this rapidly changing technology shapes, influences and changes, um, or maybe reinforces existing biases, in case of my work, gender bias. Um, as I'm inspired by Lacanian uh, mirror stage notion, I'm curious how do images uh, that we see both online and in the real physical world can influence and shape our identity and then how we recognize our identity in the reflection of literal or meta metaphorical mirrors. As I was training um, image-to-image -image translation algorithms that don't really understand the concept of men and women as we do, because everything that algorithm sees is just pixels of colors and convoluted data, I was curious to see what kind of concepts AI will imagine for itself. At some point of the training, um, the, algorithms, the algorithms started identifying um, more smiley face as face of a woman or picture of someone with thicker brows as a man. So it's interesting that in those small training data sets with not that big amount of training data, just few thousands, certain biases start to arise. So by this I want to bring attention to the fact that uh, image to image translation algorithms are not only used in entertainment or art and as helpful as they could be um, if the data that is being trained is biased then the output cannot be true um, because we are using those algorithms and we are relying on those algorithms to make decisions for us in the spheres of education employment, medical care, and if we don't have this link between the biased data and the outcome that it gives, while it can be beneficial for certain societal groups, it can be drastically damaging for marginalized communities. And by this, I want to bring attention to the fact that we have to be very mindful of the data sets that we use uh, for training image-to-image -image translation algorithms or facial recognition algorithms um, because otherwise it will keep reinforcing the biases 
that are damaging to our society.